Hey guys, Claw Wolf here, and I'm back today with another video. And just as kind of a side note, guys, uh, I'm kind of sorry about the amount of videos I've been posting. I have a really big thing uh, that's school-related coming up, actually, that I have to work for. So that has taken up most of my time. I'm going to have episode three, episode two of the um, of the Out of This Realm out probably by tomorrow afternoon. And uh, yeah, so I should be good now. It's pretty much over all the hard stuff I have to do. But uh, anyway, so I just kind of wanted to show you guys this thing that um, I've been working on some stuff lately, but not for too much. Anyway, excuse me. But today, we um, I'm showing off, as the video title suggests, a minecart that moves in 16 directions. And just excuse those signs. Don't look at them because it's something that I'm working on real quick here that will probably only take me a couple... Um, it, it hasn't even taken... It's taken me 30 minutes maybe in total, maybe 40 minutes. Uh, but it probably won't even take me that much more time to actually complete this, and it'll be a map that, uh, it's a mini game that's really short. But anyway, so this is really cool what I created here. It's, uh, basically these 32 commands, 16 of them is to set a scoreboard, so I'll scoreboard, object scoreboard, objective, so a sidebar, uh, facing, there we go. And, uh, if you look, here I'm facing this way, then here it gives me a score of 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16. So what it's doing is it's detecting when I'm facing in 16 different directions. So they're basically the 16 basic directions. So there's the eight basic directions, which is north, and then south, which is here, and then east, which is here, and west, which is here. But it's actually the opposite in Minecraft. South is act I made south number one, and I made, uh, then this will be west, and this will be north, and about here would be east. Anyway, so point being, and then it also has the north, the northwest, northeast, southwest, southeast, right? Then what I did was I put basically one point in between the, say, the southeast. So here's the southeast. I put one point in between the southeast and the actual south, and it's basically like extra south with a little east, which is number two. And then number four is extra east with a little south. And I basically just took those principles and applied them to the movement here. And we have, um, and uh, to put simple, we execute at a player with the facing of one, entity at the minecart writables, and it's giving them uh, editing the minecart writables motion to five. So this gives you the positive direction, uh, which is number one, which is the south is positive z direction. And uh, it's making it 0.5, so half of a block, and it does it 20 times a second, which actually is not that fast, because I think it's because I actually have ice on the floor here for a reason. And then the next one here is the uh, for number 2, which is actually in the negative x direction for east. So we have a little bit of negative x, which 15 plus 35, that's 50, so I just split them up that way. So we have more going into the south direction and a little bit going into the east direction. And then with the southeast, we have equal, 0 0.25, 0 0.25. And then this one is the opposite, where more is going into the east direction and a little is going into the south direction. So I basically just took that principle, did it to all the areas, and it actually turns out really cool. I'll just hop in this minecart, and you can see it's fairly accurate in the movement as I move my head. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of slow here, but I'm sure if there was a lot of actual blocks, it would work out a lot better and be a lot faster, but I kind of just wanted to just use that. And it doesn't depend on if you're looking up or down. Uh, you can look any direction. But, yeah, so this is really cool. It kind of makes for a almost believable moving minecart, you could say, like a minecart that goes depending on where you're facing. Um, but yeah, I thought this was really cool. It works for, you can apply the facing with the 16 directions to anything. You can apply it to uh, arrows or any projectile or any entity if you want to make the entity move. This is a more precise method with 16. And uh, the actual commands for the uh, for the, the direction detection are a lot more complicated than the motion itself. Um, the way the method I used was I started with south, which is R Y, which is 11. So I went to here's exactly south, right? And I looked here's zero zero south, right? So I went about 11 degrees this way, and 11 degrees the other way. So 11 degrees in the negative, 11 degrees in the positive, which kind of gives a a little range for the uh, for the area, like a little range, which is like a slice of pizza, right? 
or however you want to imagine it. Um, and then what I did was I gave each part an equal sized slice. So what I would do was that slice is about 22 uh, figures long. So 11 and 11, that's 22. So what I did was I added uh, 1 to 11. So it goes from 11. Then this one is going to have the minimum at 12. So one more. And then I add 22 to it, which gives me 34. And I just kept going with that until you get to 180, where you have to change it from net positive, which is 180, to negative, because it goes to negative numbers, so you can start counting down 180, which is weird. You go from, that's, let me just show you right here, if you look right here where my mouse is, if I go to 180, exactly, it there is no 180. It goes from 179 to negative 179, which is kind of weird, but whatever. Um, so yeah, so I added it, then took the 34, add 1 to it, 35, plus 22, and I just did that for everything, and that's how it gets the directions. That was the hardest part about this whole thing, and uh, that took the longest time. Uh, if you want these commands, I'm going to have a link to a paste bin in the description, and it'll have all the commands uh, split up between the ones that are facing and the ones that give you the motion. And uh, yeah, they're really cool to work with, and I'm glad I was able to make the 16 facing, which I thought I wouldn't be able to do, but I actually was, because previously the most directions I've done was 8, and uh, sometimes I don't even bother with 8. If you noticed in my uh, mana, how to create a fireball spell, I used 8 there. So this is 16, so it's even better. Anyway, so that's all I wanted to tell you guys today. I'll be coming out with more videos this weekend, and we are going to actually have a little tournament this weekend if you guys want to play and join in. Um, there is something about live streaming that I have to talk about, and I may have to end up doing Twitch, but those facts aside, just keep those in the back of your mind for later. I'll be making videos on them. Uh, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all later.